All right, so new season, we know that Jamie and Claire are sort of settling down. We've heard from the producers that this season is somewhat about home and establishing a home and being mm. a little bit more stable. Um, what are Jamie and Claire like as a part of this world? I would imagine that um, it, feel, it might feel a little nice compared to past seasons of not being in constant peril all the time, perhaps? They're not constant. Not constant. Okay. <laughs> but there's, there's still peril. Okay. There's still moments. I'll tell you what, Jamie is, oh my God, he's such a, he's a dab hand with a saw and a chisel. I mean, the things that that man can build with can his hands. Turn his hand to anything, yeah. <laughs> we, saw, we saw the giant trees that take five men to carry. One man. But there's one, one man, man. One thanks to fiberglass. Just, just kidding, just kidding. It's not fiberglass, they're real trees. <laughs> Jamie can carry them all just with one little finger, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah. No, this is the first time we get to see them actually as a sort of you know, a, a, a couple and a, a sort of family unit. Yeah, well, I think it's a it's a fresh start for both of them. Um, for the first time, you know, it's it's before either Claire has been going to Lally Brock, which was Jamie's previous home, or they were being chased by red coats or yeah. whatever the the on peril boat, was, or, or on yeah. a boat. And and this is them finding um, a place for them to start completely afresh. And they're surrounded by you know their extended family. I think for Jamie, you know, he's always had that that yearning to be, you know, to be the laird, to be the patriarch and, and, and have this family around him. So now he's really, you know, building this this home, literally building it. Yeah. But, you know, it's it's been interesting to watch um, because it's really the story of this couple as immigrants um, landing in this new world and, mm. and sort of it's at the dawn of America as we now know it. And um, obviously Claire has such an emotional relationship with America because that's where she raised her daughter and mm. Brianna's American. So mm. there's that pull for her and that also becomes this great connection for Jamie to have with with the land it's like well this is the land that my daughter will eventually you know grow inherit, up in yeah. and inherit so you have a lot of you know obviously it's, it's also quite an interesting time in that American history where for Claire is what especially it's it's quite difficult for her to sort of see some of the stuff that's going on and, and be okay with that mm -hmm. and, and that causes a bit of conflict for them as well. So we're hearing more stability. We're, he we're hearing building a home. Are there going to be some steamy scenes that might lead to another baby making wave? Uh, well, I, th <laughs> I think Claire may be slightly postmenopausal at this age. <laughs> so I'm not sure about any babies. But, uh, looking good though. Claire's <laughs> she's looking, looking good. good. She's in her early 50s. Things are still, she's still got it. But, so uh, uh, Roger, and, <laughs> Roger and Brie are a new power couple on the show. Have the you given them any advice on how to really just own The that? young, good looking ones. Sort of. <laughs> You're well, still Sophie's there. young. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to repeat that. You know I'm going to take that right to, to Richard. <laughs> uh, um, but any advice to them on... Passing on the mantle. Passing on the... I mean, you're still there. You're still owning it. But I feel like people are starting I to care know, a little bit about Roger and Bree as well. Now. Yeah. Yeah, we, Somebody we, just said to me, you know, kind of, you washed up on a North Carolina <laughs> shore. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, are you saying we're washed up? <laughs>